unfair paying conditions, the gender pay gap, the disability pay gap, the BAME pay gap, casualisation, increasing and unsafe workloads, issues such as workload, the gender and ethnicity pay gap, and it's affecting people's mental health and people are breaking and that's not right. Jenkins. I'm uh, an assistant professor in the philosophy department at the University of Nottingham and I am taking part in the UCU strike. I'm Katie, I am a member of the philosophy department at Nottingham University and I'm on strike today. Hi, my name's Sue Brown, I'm a research fellow at MindTech which is a research centre for technology and mental health. I'm Nadia Whitten, I'm the Labour MP for Nottingham East and I'm really glad to be joining striking staff on the picket line this morning. I'm striking because of the two joint battles that are going on around pensions and also around working conditions, pay, workload and casualisation. I have joined the UCU strike to get a better, fairer deal for me and my colleagues so that we can do a better job for students and that together we can protect universities as a place where real learning can happen and can be exciting and not somewhere that marketised learning is served up on a plate. They're also striking over the future of education because the conditions in which people work are the conditions in which students learn. If we go the way we're going with casualisation, then academia is only going to be an option for people who've got independent wealth that they can fall back on. Um, and that strikes me as bad for all kinds of reasons. Uh, it's, it's bad for the people we're excluding, but it's also bad for academia itself, because academia is stronger the more variety of, of, of voices and, and people that are involved. And I also, most importantly, want to be able to deliver really high quality teaching to students and the ways that university um, admin staff, for example, are being cut and cut and the ways that academic are being placed under unacceptable amounts of pressure are preventing me from doing that. I want to do better for my students. I've spoken to staff members this morning who say that working in a university is like being chewed up and spat out. Others who say that the only reason they've got jobs is because there are so many other members of staff who are off sick from stress. Nobody should have to work in these conditions and nobody should have to learn in those conditions either. I'm also striking because of my colleagues who are on precarious and short-term contracts. This is completely unacceptable, it really damages people's lives and again it leads to a worse deal for students. Between 2014 and January 2020 I had uh, seven positions in philosophy, most of them for less than a year, uh, only one of them was full-time. I've lived in, I think, eight different cities and three different continents and I know that sounds really cool and cosmopolitan and interesting but actually it's been terrible for things like building a community, getting medical treatment, um, buying a house, uh, having a pet, having a partner, having plates that match. It feels good to be out on the picket and to see other people who are joining the struggle. I think the best sense that I always get is of solidarity and shared purpose. Given everything that's going on in the world, with climate destruction, with the rise of the far right, with all these kinds of worrying developments, I think that we need universities standing strong as part of the way that we as a society resist those things. And if we as workers don't stand up and say, we need to take care of universities, we need to take care of staff, we need to make sure that universities are not serving up a kind of commodified idea of education as something that's only worth what it will, you know, the difference it will make to your earnings, but actually enthusing students and protecting the intrinsic value of learning. If we don't have that, then I think we're all worse off. This dispute is in management's hands. It can be ended as soon as they'd like it to, so that students can carry on learning and teachers can carry on teaching. Yeah, God, I really don't know what to say.